Hey everybody, Jay Donovan from Crunch Gear. Welcome back to the Panel Dome, aka Den of Iniquity, aka Wood Panel Room in my basement where I review software and hardware for Crunch Gear, so you can see it first. Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at Amplitude 2.0 by IK Multimedia. It's a pretty significant update to their uh, their current Amplitude iOS app. Uh, it works in conjunction with the iRig hardware dongle, you know, so you can plug your guitar base into your iOS device. We're looking at the update. Uh, a lot of new features, lots of new pedals, capability, um, you know, read the review to get the full skinny on all of that. Tonight we're going to just look at one portion, probably the, the coolest new feature, I think, which is their four-track recorder built into the, uh, to the uh, software. So let's take a look at it and let's see how it works. I've got uh, a pre-release version of the software running on an iPad here. Uh, running at 2x still looks pretty good. Uh, a full iPad version uh, is coming out too, uh, but I just have the, uh, the iPhone, the one for iPhone right now. Um, but uh, it has all the same, uh, pretty much all the same features that it had in the in the previous version. You know, the tools section here with the tuner, which I probably should have used. A bunch of uh, effects pedals, you know, all, all different kinds, uh, with a uh, pretty nice detail and graphic design on them. Uh, a bunch of cabinets and amps. I've just got the default set here. Um, you can select your microphone, etc. And uh, of course, the the new uh, four track um, four track recorder. There's also a master controls section too. That's a new feature. But uh, here it is. It, you know, it works pretty much like you you would think it would. Uh, Four tracks, you can ping pong, bounce tracks down, just like you could back in the day on your old Fostex four track recorder, cassette recorder, you know. So uh, so let's let's record something here. Let's uh let's arm a track. Let's see what amp amp we've got selected. We've got the clean one. <coughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Rewind it here. You can see when you drag that uh, playhead back, the cassette even uh, rewinds. It's pretty funny. All right, let's see how we did. Something else to note here, they have this new insert effects feature. Uh, if I scroll over here, you can see the control for that. And basically, what what it does is, if you've recorded something and you don't like the effect, you know, you used when you recorded it or the amp or whatever, you can change it on the fly. So we had the clean uh, clean amp selected. We could change it to crunch. It's pretty cool. It uh, gives you a lot of flexibility when you're, uh, you know, tracking. Um, if you get if you get something you like though, and you decide you want to apply it to that to that track, you just press the apply button right there, you know, and it says, hey, do you want to? You sure you want to do this? You can't undo it. And you say, yeah, let's apply the effects. It's gonna process it. And boom, it's committed. So uh, that's pretty great. That's a pretty great addition. Um, all right, but let's uh, let's multi-track here. Let's uh, arm a different track and let's let's uh, do something else here. Why don't we pick a lead tone here, lead amp, and then let's uh, let's track that on it. Before we do that, let me make sure I oh, arm the effect.
let's see how we did there. Amplitude 2.0, four track quarter. Uh, pretty cool addition to a pretty cool piece of software. Uh, check it out. Uh, details uh, up in the review uh, uh, where to get it, when to get it, etc. And uh, thanks a lot for stopping back by the panel dome. Jay Donovan from Crunch Gear. We'll see you out there on the internet. Take care. <laughs>